Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything Kratom. It's great to have you with us on this Monday morning. Welcome back to a start of a new week. Today, I wanted to share such a wonderful little piece that I found. It's in filtermag.org. And this was written by a person who was a former heroin addict for years. Uh, She's a current Kratom consumer. And she's now a writer in Portland, Oregon. Her name is Morgan Godvin. And I'll put the source, uh, the link to her article in the description of this podcast episode. But this is just, I don't know. I haven't really shared any articles like this before. Usually it's just articles based on, you know, oh, the upcoming World Health Organization meeting or, oh, now there's a proposed ban here or there. And there's plenty of that to talk about. That's for sure. Um, you know, a lot of talk around Pennsylvania, which we're going to be getting to this week. But this is written by a person who has firsthand experience with Kratom, uh, dealing with struggles before Kratom, and kind of just having her own narrative account of as she's living life now, um, a better life now, and using Kratom to help her, you know, just taking note of the current situation of Kratom in the United States uh, with the backdrop of a greater, you know, war on drugs that is still simmering in the background. So I just thought that it was a really well-written, almost like a beautiful article. And and I thought that I would share it with everyone. And I'll just give a little bit of this sampling in this episode, but I really do think you should read it if if you want to hear more about it. But the start of it goes like this. A kilo is surprisingly heavy, I thought, as I dropped the package onto my mattress with a thud. I never thought I would return to the life of digital scales and weighing grams, but here I am. Except it's not illegal drugs. This time, it's Kratom. (laughs) If that doesn't draw you in, I don't know what does, but that's just some good writing right there. I, I love that. It's simple, but it's, you know, it's catchy. It hooks you. It's almost like Gonzo in a way because she's telling her own experience through her experience and i just love that so then she goes into you know what kratom is uh how it affects her and how there is this weird fuzzy gray zone that kratom currently sits in in the united states after that she kind of goes into her own you know journey with addiction to heroin for years and uh also you know dealing with other things like going to prison Uh, the constant fear that she lived in after prison when she was on probation or going through programs and just all the different things that can, you know, can go wrong, do go wrong, which I've talked a lot about on this podcast before with my own brother prior to his um, death last January, not this one, but a year ago now. Wow, it's been a year. Um, But I've talked a lot about how he would just live in fear so much of the time when he wasn't in prison or you know wasn't addicted you know well you're always an addict but but when he wasn't actually using drugs but he was on probation and there's somebody breathing down your neck and you miss the bus to your appointment one day because you're in a new town you know that can get you sent back to jail because you've you've you know that's strike three or 
your you know urine sample is too diluted which is what this person touches on at one point uh, the, uh morgan godwin actually touches on her own experiences with this sort of thing so i just think she perfectly captured the issues that that people who are addicts right now are dealing with um also talking about prescription medication opioid uh xanax uh things like that and how uh, she came across those and was prescribed those um, or wasn't prescribed those because of her prior addiction history, her mental health uh, during this whole time. And then just talking, you know, a, a bit about why, you know, Kratom helped her so much. And then finally zooming out to, to the larger picture, the drug war and how going after this is just a bit ridiculous and, you know, we need a better way of going about all this. So um, I just think that she hit on a bunch of topics that are very important. She did it pretty succinctly, but through her own lens. And I just loved reading it. it. It really only takes five minutes to read everybody. So even if you don't like reading long articles, it's not long. It, it really isn't. It'll only take you a few minutes. Um, and it's and it's it's great. So I wanted to share that with you all. And other than that, the other thing I wanted to talk about today was I've discovered um for myself i'm sure lots of people already know this but (laughs) i'm behind here um i discovered staggering kratom doses can be very helpful and efficient so today when i got to the office i was like okay it's a green mango day let's face it drinking my tea here it's a green mango day it's a monday gotta get things going and green mango does it like no one else's business for me so um, I took some green mango, and then it took a little while to kick in, as it usually does. But um, something that I don't tend to do is take kratom and wait a long time, and then take some other kratom, like like I don't know, let's say like 45 minutes later or an hour later. Usually, I'll take another type of kratom within 10 minutes or so. I don't really like to stagger it, stagger it too much more than that. But today, I I realized you know it started kicking in, it started you know doing its job about 45 minutes in but i didn't take that much of it um not on purpose or accident it's just what i did but uh for some reason it just you know i think i I could use a little bit more for my motivation but that was what i thought so then i decided well it's been like 45 minutes somewhere around 45 minutes maybe almost an hour i don't usually take kratom like at this point after i take you know kratom the first time usually it's like four hours in between i you know take kratom but um but I felt like I could use a little bit of a boost. So I, for the first time, really, I took another um, serving of Kratom 45 minutes to 50 or 55 minutes after my first. And I haven't done this before. I took probably a gram and a half or two grams of green mango. I think if I had taken two and a half or three, maybe I wouldn't have taken any more. But for some reason, it just wasn't quite enough, but it was close. So I decided to take a gram of white tie. And it is working great for me today. So it came on very quickly. Whites come on a lot quicker for me than greens. And the staggered approach is just really doing it for me. It's really working for me today. So I, you know, that that energy, like the green mang da continues to build, which is great. But on top of that, it, you know, I've taken this white tie. It's given me this boost. So it's basically now the green mang da is building upon that boost. And I haven't really thought about Kratom like this before in terms of layers. Like when you take it as a staggered approach, um, the Green Mang Da is building, but it's like you just put, you know, you just um, bolstered its foundation a bit. It's like I just put something underneath it so that it's higher up now. So it's really neat because it's still, Green Mang Da is still working the same way I was intending it to. It's just now it feels like I took three grams of Green Mang Da, not two grams, which is exactly what I was hoping and going for. So it's really neat. Um, It's changed my perception of Kratom a little bit. Once again, there's something new to learn every day. And uh, this is the thing that I'm learning today. Staggered approach can be pretty helpful. Um, I Like I said, again, I, I usually only wait like 10 minutes between at most if I'm taking two different types of Kratom. But um, but this time it was like 45, 55 minutes and, and it's totally what I, what I needed. So I'm very happy with it. I'm wondering if it's going to increase the uh, the duration even more and stagger that in terms of how long it will last effectively. Who knows? Maybe I won't take like an afternoon uh, serving of, of white 
Indo or something like that. Maybe this will last me through the day and, and that would be great, you know, because why take more Kratom if you don't need to? Um, so, so I'm definitely going to monitor that. I think that's great. And the other thing I wanted to say in addition to all that is, um, sorry, this is a bit of a, a, this is a diverse range of topics or a number of different things. But um, the other thing I wanted to share this morning, kick off the week, I, I wanted to give an update on Friday. So Friday, you might remember, I took the, the Tylenol and then some white Indo, just a small amount, like a gram, I think. And that was for a headache. And I had talked about how in the past, Tylenol itself can take away some of a headache for me, but it, does, it I still feel like weighed down or sloshy and stuck in the mud and like it can come back at any moment. And then with Kratom, it doesn't really help with my headaches and sometimes it can even make them worse. But taking the two together and, it, you know, small doses of both, really helped because it took away the headache but it also made me feel like back up to snuff and i ended up feeling like my day was normal and it just felt like i took a teeny bit of kratom which is great so um but i wanted to i told you at the end of that episode that i was gonna you know continue to monitor it because it had only been a little while and who knows maybe it would you know my headache would come back with ferocity later on that day so here's the update it did not the headache did not come back later on that day Uh, My day went on as usual. I did not feel fatigued later on or like I was being weighed down or anything. And it was overall a really pleasant experience. And, um, you know, a few hours later, it was like, couldn't tell anything happened. Couldn't tell that I woke up with a headache. So what more can you ask for? Plenty of things, plenty of things that Kratom can be used for. And, um, you know, that's just yet another thing that I'm going to keep in keep in my toolbox you know there's there's just so many uses so i just thought that those were all uh, worthy things to share on a monday morning i hope everybody is doing great out there and of course we will be back tomorrow with another episode of everything kratom all right everybody start off your week strong take it easy bye bye <laughs>